Welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and we're doing some building today. Sorry I'm so far away, but as you can see, I have a large surface that we're working on. Now, I'm gonna cut away here and I'm gonna show you at the hardware store where I bought this PVC pipe. It came from Home Depot in the plumbing section. So here it is. All right, guys, we're at the Home Depot. We're down in the plumbing section, um, as you can see. And as I stated, what we're looking for here are the connectors. So you get a size of PVC piping, and then there's all these different connectors that you can build whatever shape it is you're looking for. The important part is that you're getting the right measurements. So I'm going to show you here in a second that I was picking out three quarters of an inch um, some of the T brackets there. So I needed two of those. I will get some caps. I will get a corner round, all the different pieces to build this over the desk or mantle or wherever you want to put it. But you just want to go to your plumbing section at the Home Depot. Um, I'm showing you three quarter of an inch. And as I was leaving, I realized I didn't think I needed that thick. So I returned back to that section and I got half inch, but in retrospect, I think the three quarter of an inch would have been a better option for me. It would have been more stable. So if you're going to do anything heavier than what I did, definitely go with the three quarter inch. So here I'm just showing you all the different pieces. Oop, I'm throwing them on the floor. I did pick it up after. And these are the four caps that you will want to put this together. And then this is how you buy the PVC piece um, and you grab it. It comes in a 10 foot section. And I also got some uh, spray paint at this store as well. All right, we're back. And the one thing I didn't show you are these things. I'll come around and show you. Coming around. What these are are um, scissors for lack of a better word they cut PVC pipe so I just spray painted mine this green color but you draw a line with the sharpie where you want to cut it I'm trying not to chop my finger off here and then you oops okay there we go it ratchets down it's easier when you have a bigger piece. And you literally just squeeze. And it will cut through this PVC pipe. It's like the jaws of life or death or whatever they are. So these are pretty handy to have. If you don't have them, I'm sure you have like a saw or something. And I believe they will even cut them for you. So this is gonna go over my desk. So my measurements are three and a half feet across, really like three and three quarters. I cut off about four inches, two feet tall. And you already saw the pieces that I purchased. And then I spray painted it all green. Now, the other things I have are bulbs. I bought a bunch. I tied them up in three with pipe cleaners. Um, a rubber mallet is very handy to connect all your pieces together. A tape measure, scissors and a Sharpie and a surface. I grabbed two packages of these lights from Dollar Tree because they're five feet long and I think I'm four, five, six, I'm about eight feet around. And then I grabbed this from uh, the Target store by me. They were $5. So it's nine feet. So we'll see if one works or not. These are not pre-lit, but they are wired. You can get the pre-lit ones and save yourself some hassle. I can already tell you I'm going to want two, which is why I bought two. So you just want to open this up, kind of fluff it out a little bit. I'll do more fluffing when it's attached. Um, but that's what the pipe cleaners are for also to help attach. So I have this open, it is just wire. And what I'm gonna do over here is I'm going to 
take this piece of wire and just wrap it around the bottom. This is just gonna sit on my desk at work. Obviously, I'm not building anything in my office. I mean, I guess we say obviously, but I'm not building anything in my office. All right, so I'm gonna fast forward through this part of me just wrapping this around. Okay, I decided on a different set of lights. I went and got these at the Dollar Tree. I wanted these big fat ones. And this should be enough heat. Also, I have all of this up and I started hanging the bulbs. But let's put the lights on. Let's see, what, oh, look at these. They're like retro. My team is going to be thrilled. Because we have little contests at my work. Let me see if these work. Oh, they do. Look how fun they are. All right. So I have to leave myself enough room. So let's move the coffee. And we're going to start. I think we'll start here in the middle. Right here. Let's see Oops. how we can do. Now, this hanger can be used for more than what I'm using it for. I will tell you though, if you choose to use it for something heavier than just some Christmas, you're going to want to reinforce it for sure. And what I would say the best option to do that is to take another one and do the bottom and hold it together with a bottom piece. Uh, my stuff's not that heavy, so I'm not too concerned about it. But if I was doing anything heavier, what's going to happen is it's going to slide out from under you. I should have got an extension cord also while I was there, but I can get one. I just need a little one. Actually, this is perfect. This should fit to my outlet on my desk, depending on what, well, I guess I decided where the front is. Now, we did that. And it's time for the bulbs. And I showed you these bulbs, and they're just going to go some on the front, some on the back all over this but because of where i just did my light plug this will be the front side that you're seeing over here so i'm just going to come in here with all these bulbs and then i have you know i can have some extra on the back side too but depending where I put my outlet, although I can bring an extension cord. So let me, these are my favorite right here. I'm gonna go around and I'm gonna hang these bulbs and I'm just twist tying them on and I will be right back. Well guys, I thought I was videoing, but apparently I was not. So, <laughs> fun times. Um, I took some of this ribbon and I just twisted it, I tied it up here at the bottom, twisted it all the way around. And then I took some of this and I made a bow, different ribbon, to go right here on this little corner. But that's everything. It will light up, it will sit on my desk. I would show it to you on my desk, but unfortunately I can't because I'm not, I'm not supposed to film in my office, it's a bank. But, I would say that turned out rather cute. And just in case I do have extra of these, if I decide to go in and maybe hang them up or do something with the pink that I have. I do have some of this pink. Maybe I could leave some of that in there as well. Let's see, maybe, let's try it. We'll go from this side. Since you missed the green wrapping, let's do some pink. And I wanna wrap it the opposite direction. So just 
to make sure everything stays in one place, I tie it on the bottom. And then, now this ribbon, the only thing is it's, oh, wrong way. It's only one-sided, so I kind of have to mess with it a little more than the, than the green. Um, it only has the velour on the one side. That's okay, and I'm just honestly moving it around, twisting it. Sorry for the banging. Coming in here. And then I'm trying to just do it as even as I did the other. Oh yeah, I like this pink a lot. it in here and it just brings some more color to the office and hold on we're almost done okay oh spinning around I love this. I think I got all of this at Michael's or Hobby Lobby. Questionable. And we'll come in through here. Oh, we want to go behind that bow, of course. So we'll just come up over here. And down here and then I just have to go and fluff it up I think I said earlier you could use this for really any holiday this form like this painted green I may leave it at the office and just bring in different wreaths and stuff obviously they will not be as extensive as this but I can hang my summer wreaths or spring and just undecorate it and tuck that right in there. There we go. How do we like that with the pink? Oh, I like it. I just need to go back in and pull out my green. Okay, I'll bring you back when it's all fluffed. There we go. She is all done and complete. We need a good picture though, don't we? Let's move that out of the way. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. But she's done. I'm super excited. She's going to sit on my desk and make me very, very happy. So I hope you enjoyed my little hectic decoration to get my desk festive for the holidays. All right, guys. I'll be back with another video, and I will talk with you later. Bye.